Well, the 2024 Appalachian League All-Star festivities started in a big way this evening over in Johnson City in the crack of the home run derby bats. Not the only thunder in store. Eight guys on the docket, four from each division. The West Division started off strong with Kingsport's Mason Swinney. He really got the juices flowing early, put up a strong number, but Greenville's Brody Johnston, he got up to 10 points to advance to the West Final. The Doughboys' Gunner Boree, he was well taken care of by his teammates today. A little flowery drink there. Started his first round, but was interrupted due to heavy rain and lightning. About a 25-minute delay. Boree got a fresh round, but he came back out and got himself 10 points. And Elizabethan's Jaden Loebliner, the top seed, got a few two-point homers in those final 30 seconds. But Boree goes on to advance. Johnston and Boree for a spot in the championship. The flyboy was crushing him early on, but both guys ended up with six points in the round. So we're going to a tiebreaker and Bory puts up three in 30 seconds and the teammates lining that front row on the fence are on another planet. He went to the championship in front of the home crowd to face a former Doughboy, Michael Callen Moss, now with the Otterbots this year, and he went nuclear. After his timeout, he found rhythm. He had and all seven of his Danville teammates were there cheering him on 16 points in the championship for the big righty from Brooklyn as he goes on to win the 2024 Appy League All-Star Home Run Derby despite that stormy weather. It actually gave me a chance to rest up. I was a little, uh, I was a little tired after that first round, so that little uh, rain delay gave me a lot of rest, so I really liked it. <laughs> it felt great. I mean, being back at Johnson City where my kind of happy career all started is really nice, and uh, getting the win for the East squad is always a plus, you know what I mean? I had an early exit last year, so being able to win it this year was really fun. Hey, you heard him right there. The former Doughboy turned Otterbot didn't make it too far in the event last year, but redemption tasted like a little bit of a cooler bath from his teammates. Hey, earlier in the night, the skills challenge some of the fielders out there trying to knock over some buckets with throws from their respective positions. It's tougher than it looks. Doughboy's Christian Toledo nearly pinpointing this throw from home from right field. Greenfield in Greenville infielder Nick Arias skipped one for some points here on this throw, but it was Johnson City's Chase Bloomer out of SIU Edwardsville who connected on three of his four throws for 25 points to win the skills competition in front of the home fans. Uh, I just basically tried to keep it the same, just imagine it, you know, not think about it too much and just throw it to see where it goes. It's an awesome experience, you know, and it adds on, you know, that uh, it's in Johnson City, so all our fans are out here. Uh, they're at every game, and it's just really cool to see them all out. Well, the festivities continue tomorrow with the East vs. West All-Star Game back over at TVA. First pitch scheduled for 7.08 Eastern Time.